It was a, a night and we were walking under the stars, the black sky. And he looked up to the stars and he said, ordinarily when we look to the sky and look to the stars, we think of stars as objects far out and vast spaces between them. He said, there's another way we can look at it. We can look at the vacuum, at the emptiness, instead as a plenum, as infinitely full rather than infinitely empty and that the material objects themselves are like little bubbles, little vacancies in this vast sea. So David Bohm, in a sense, was using that view to have me look at the stars and to have a sense of the night sky all of a sudden in a different way, as one whole living organism and these little bits that we call matter is sort of just little holes in it. Essentially two theories of physics have been around for you know some time, uh, decades and decades. One was quantum theory, well established. Quantum theory of Bohr and Heisenberg and Schrodinger. The other was Einstein's relativity. But, but despite decades of work, they never put the two theories together. And Bohm was thinking very deeply about that and said, OK, it's not, we don't need a new idea. We don't need a new theory. We don't need a new bit of mathematics, which everybody else was trying. What we need is a radically new order to physics. There was a guy who turned up here whose name was David Bohm, who I'd never heard of before. Didn't even know what he was doing. But then when he started, I was absolutely transfixed. What he was saying was something that I wanted to find answers for when I was an undergraduate and everybody refused to answer me. David Bohm, one of the scientists who really showing interest about quantum physics. Nothing objectively exists. All they depend on observer. The whole is contained in each of the parts and the parts in the whole. And my feeling is that that gave an insight to Bohm that this world we live in, you know, there's, it's all hard and fast. The explicate order, this is the explicate order, is really just a surface order. It's, it's, not, it's not a deep, profound order. And there's something lies underneath it. Bohm's theory shows how particles respond to a process of constant enfolding and unfolding linking the underlying unseen world of the implicate order to the external world of the explicate order to quantum potential, in which the cosmos emerges out of the flux and transformation of an activity of information. In essence, Bohm's theory of the implicate order enfolding and unfolding into the explicate order is a journey through multiple realities into the mystery of actuality. David Bohm was dealing with general ideas. Uh, he would be dealing with philosophical ideas. We would go in to language. Is languaging, language is limiting the way we can express these ideas. He would go into biology and say, look, this is the way biological systems develop. Nature is surely more organic. Perhaps we should move into that area and say that there is a more organic way of thinking about life in general. And then ultimately he became very fascinated with the role of consciousness in all of this. Where is consciousness come in? What is thought? What is thinking? Making it respectable to ask these philosophical questions and to try and make a, an ontology of quantum mechanics which somehow hang together. The work of people like Bohm, Einstein, they are like huge windows opening in the imagination to, to a way of dealing with life and the things we encounter within it freshly. Being able to go beyond what they knew, being able to go beyond their framework, their context, in order to do something that had real depth. That's the key. That's the deepest hidden level of reality, the gate of all wonders. The reality 
so far we know this part still limitless so david bohm i think really something like opener of our mind <laughs>